Hey guys, I am checking in from the car. Um, we're at my county fair in Ohio this week. And it is really hot out. Like, no breeze, hot. I went Friday and Saturday and it was cool and it was nice. Not today. Kids day at the fair, it's hot. Like, miserable hot. So I came to the car to um, get some air conditioning for a while. And I honestly don't think I can go out there anymore today. So Titus is out doing stuff and hanging with friends. Um, but it is like gross hot. And I know some of you, it's like 115 at your house or something crazy. So you're probably thinking I'm a wimp. But my I physically do not do good in the heat. Um especially then if I'm walking and exerting myself. So I already have, let's see if I can pull it up on my Fitbit here. Sorry. Um, okay, I'm almost at 6,000 steps, which for me is a lot. So um, you can tell t that it's been a busy, it's been a busy day for me. And usually we come at night when it's cooler. So we didn't today. Um, my son thought he was going to come meet some friends, but they had already kind of come and gone. So we walked around the animal barns, which I love to do. Um, pet some horses and goats. Goats are my favorite. We watched a little um, hog show um, for a little bit. So it was just kind of fun for him and I, but I was like dying. And he's, you know, young, good shape. He's fine. Um, I had to stop and get water a few times and sit when I could so but you know what if I had the 20 pounds on that I <clears throat> lost I wouldn't have been able to do it at all um so I could be thankful for that um I haven't really been able to tell super a lot that I've lost 20 pounds today though um I think I see it in my face a little bit inflammation maybe has gone down but today I forgot I had bought this pair of pants and I can't really show them to you I guess because I'm wearing them and I had bought this pair of pants and they are really cute they were on the clearance at Walmart in May when we were in Arkansas on vacation and so I bought a different pair but these are kind of like capri uh, wide leg capri jean like two different colors of jean material they're really cute so I thought these are like a size too small for me but I'm working on this so I'm gonna go ahead and buy them because they were 15 bucks and for me that's a good price for jeans so I bought them and I forgot about them till this morning and I pulled them out and I was like I forgot when I that I bought these so I tried them on and they fit perfect and I was so excited so it's you know non-scale victory smaller pair of pants um, I'm starting to see some of my t-shirts are getting um, looser that I wore in the winter time. Um, so I figure in about 10 more pounds, I'll really start noticing, you know, a difference. And, um, but I'm excited. I was, thanks for cheering for me. A bunch of you commented and were cheering for me. This week I hit 100 days on Lose It that I was keeping track of everything I eat and do. And I hit 20 pounds. And that's like, I think one of you calculated it's about a pound a week. I'm not losing fast at all. And sometimes you think, well, I weigh whatever and I should be able to lose pretty quickly but that's not always how the body works and it's not always safest and my doctor does not want me losing quickly she wanted me losing about a pound a week so um, tracking my calories yes some of you are like what are you doing da, da, da. I am tracking my calories um, I am trying to get between well, around 2,000 calories a day, which sounds like a lot to some of you probably, but there's a calculator online and I can't remember the name of it, but you take your age, height, and your weight and something else. It's like a calculator. And then um, if one of you knows what I'm talking about, maybe you can write it in the comments. And then it tells you how many calories to eat per day. Um, and that's what I was taking it off of uh, with my doctor. I go see my doctor next week. She hasn't seen me in three months. I did go, I have weighed in, 
wants. <laughs> Probably not as much as she wanted me to. Um, she's having me keep a food diary so she can kind of see what I'm eating. Um, she prefers the Mediterranean diet. I am not doing the Mediterranean diet very, you know, it's kind of comparable. You can kind of not comparable. It's kind of like you could do it with THM, a uh, Mediterranean diet. Um, but I don't like fish. So I know you can eat other kinds of meat, but I feel like from looking at it that a lot of the foods on Mediterranean are fish related. And that's just not something that we eat very much at all. So, um, trying to use my app, you were asking me about the Lose It app. It does not have a THM like button to click. Um, but I know, um, I just eat what I know to eat, keep things separate or together, whatever I do. <coughs> um, and track my calories too. So I kind of know, like, I used to really struggle with a lot of heavy S foods, like super high in calories, nuts and cream cheese and all the stuff. And so it's actually pretty good for me to, I know they don't suggest counting calories, but for me, um, it's been helpful to go, oh, wow, I just ate that snack and it was 500 calories or, or something like that. Because I really, truly think there are a lot of people doing THM that get plateaued and stuck because they're eating too much heavy stuff. That's why you see a lot of coaches pushing fuel pulls and they're pushing deep S's and not um, all the heavy, heavy stuff. Because it's, it's a known issue that a lot of people have. So you can have those things, of course, in moderation and enjoy those fun desserts that we like um, made out of those cream cheese and all the things. But it's also good to keep in mind that calories do matter. And if you are eating tons and tons of calories and heavy things that it's going to be harder to lose. Um, so there's that in a nutshell. So NSV this week and hitting 20 pounds lost and hitting my 100 days on the app. So it was kind of fun to have a few encouraging things mixed in with my week this week. Um, that's about it. I mean, keeping busy. I have a teenager and he keeps me busy. <clears throat> um, running some basketball open gyms for the kids. Um, so that's been fun. I don't really do. I just kind of monitor everybody and be the adult there. But um, it's fun and it keeps me doing something. Um, Got to get my homeschool year moving here. Um, I know a lot of my my viewers here homeschool as well. It was kind of bittersweet turning my paperwork in because I know I'll only be do, you know turning it in another year or two. Um, and because he'll be 18. So we got a little bit longer to go, but still. Um, so got that stuff all done. And that's pretty much about it. Just August is hot here. I'm sure it is where you are too. So I'm kind of looking forward to the fall. <laughs> looking forward to the cooler weather. Um, it's my favorite time of the year. So let me hear from you. Um, how are you doing? If you have a non-scale victory, share it with me. If you have a scale victory, I'd like to hear that too. But um, I just hadn't done one of these in a while. So I thought I would update you while I'm sitting here getting some air conditioning. And update you on how I was doing. And hope that you're doing well too. If you're not doing well, you can do it. You can one day at a time like one I put a sign up in our gym and I know this is more it's kind of sports related but I think you can apply it it says forget the mistake learn the lesson and if you messed up forget it forget it learn the lesson from it learn what you can do better and get up and do it again that's all we can do we can't shame ourselves we can't put ourselves down we can't do any of those things but we can get up and do it again. Uh, for me, it's relying on Christ and um, just staying steady with what I need to do. Um, and, you know, it can be done. So I hope that encourages you today and that you will not give up. Don't give up. I don't want you to. If you give up, it's just, it is easy to give up. I get it been there done that I've given up myself before but 
start somewhere today. Start by eating something healthy for you. Get your water jug out that you've shoved in the back of the cabinet. Um, take your vitamins that you've forgotten about. Um, go, go on a little walk when it gets cooler outside. Um, just do something that's good for you today. Okay, I'll talk to you soon.